Hello everyone, Mimikins here. Today I'm going to be looking at Critical Draw Dragon Piercer builds on bow. This is a fun build which is great for monsters with large bodies. So if you're going to test this against the Kuliyaku or even the Training Pillar, it won't be as impressive as if you were fighting Behemoth or Basil. This is because Dragon Piercer hits more often depending on how far it travels through the body. My builds are based on raw damage, so as long as the monster has a large body, these builds will be effective. And that's pretty easy to remember. Elemental builds are also good for bow, and I'll cover them in another video. It's a slightly different style of play. Dragon Piercer is the most powerful and satisfying skill you can use with the bow. It does require charging, so position planning is important, as well as timing. The bow I'm using is called the Serra Coil Bender. It's from Diabolos. It has one of the highest draws currently in the game and can be boosted further by Elementalist Dual Decoration. It comes with minus 30% affinity. To make the most of this bow, capping affinity to 100% gives constant and high overall DPS. Bow is somewhat limited in the ways it can build on affinity. I usually love to use maximum might, but since bow uses stamina, this is worthless. Weakness Exploit, another favourite skill of mine, isn't as useful for Dragon Piercer. I'll give you an example, let's look at the Behemoth. If you shoot right through him from head to tail, Weakness Exploit will trigger on the head and the tail, but the whole of the body will not benefit. This is the same premise for another monster, Nergiganti, weak on the head and the front legs, so Weakness Exploit will pierce through him, but you'll lose criticals on the body and the tail. A skill that works well for bow is critical draw, which gives a critical bonus on draw attacks. Bow can shoot pretty fast and giving 100% affinity to your dragon piercers on such a high raw damage weapon really adds a lot of damage. An important thing to note is to use the critical draw, you want to draw your bow using the R2 button on the PS4, which is the button that draws your bow with a charge. Hold this button down so it's your dragon piercer that gets boosted by your critical draw, not the small hitch which will occur if you release right away. I'm not sure what the button is for Xbox or PC, so play around till you find that button that does what I'm talking about. It does take a bit of practice to master this technique and I will do a video on other bow playstyles at a later date. So I'm going to show you guys some builds, maximum damage per hit, a build which can be slotted with more utility skills, and a build suitable for PC players and those limited by jewels. Let's start off with my max DPS builds. The first one favours attack, so even if you're missing some HP, it's going to be more consistent with damage. Valhazak Gamma Legs can be swapped for Nergigantes if you're missing them or want to save on two attack jewels. The second set does more damage, just one point, as long as you remain at full HP. It's the best option for those people who lack attack jewels, or if you're really good at avoiding attacks and not taking damage. The third build is for when you want a bit more utility. The legs can be swapped if desired, I've put in Damascus so I have three free slots. This would allow me to add in skills like Quick Sheath, which will reduce sheathing animation by about 0.3 seconds, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it can add up to a lot of time saved throughout the duration of the fight. I'll show you a comparison of level 3 Quick Sheath versus none, 5 times so you can judge for yourself if it's a skill you want to add in. Other options for these slots is Health Boost, Mushroom Mancer, Speed Eating, entirely up to you since you're going to be the one playing. Next I move on to PC friendly builds. I have two builds here, first one is for optimal damage but is quite heavy on the jewel requirements, which I know a lot of you have mentioned that you're struggling to find good jewels. So I looked at the biggest gains for damage for core jewels and I would have to say that Piercing Shots, Special Ammo Boost and of course Quick Draw. So I made a build using these core skills on the armour pieces. The other jewels I put in are ones that I would pick if I had access to them. Otherwise if you're lacking jewels just put in what you can. You might want the quick sheathing or you might want a little bit extra HP but this will give you a good basis to form your build with.
Feel free to check out my other videos and comment down below what is your favourite utility skill. I hope you found the video helpful, please support the channel by liking and subscribing and I'll see you next time.